a rocket ship on its way to the moon can get up to almost 25,000 miles per hour to escape the Earth's atmosphere. And even with heavy rain outside, the atmosphere didn't stop these students from shooting off into a new frontier of science, technology, engineering, and math. So we have a program where um, the kids, as they register for our camps, we actually give back to the schools. STEM Kids Camp focuses on making science fun. It lets students like Monzi Coyle get out of the classroom and gravitate towards active learning. Like actually testing on experiments instead of just doing, like, predicting what will happen. Founder of STEM Kids Camp, Moni Singh, says it's important to see the bigger picture of planting STEM in the minds of children, as curious minds are fertile grounds. It's more about making it hands-on, you know, making it more inquiry-based and having them learn through experiences. Experiences that are uniquely designed with three C's, critical thinking, collaboration, and communications, with a mission to provide alternative recreational programs. We do lots of experiments because school, you have to do lots of paperwork, which is a little more boring than I expected. From exploring computer science to launching rockets, the STEM for Kids camps give students the opportunity to build upon what they learn in the classroom, and the opportunities are endless. The sky is the limit for Joseph Pichota, but he doesn't want to visit outer space anytime soon. You can't drink water without it coming out and you can't sleep laying down without straps and there's zero gravity. As these students gravitate towards studying STEM, they are launching into a successful career and beyond. For Connect a Million Minds, I'm Carly Swanson.